Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Johnny Shivers. I am a AWS solutions architect with over 10 years experience working within the field of data engineering. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can select the best data lake table format for your transactional data lake in AWS. To do this, I am going to use a blog post that was recently published by AWS. I'll put it on screen now. It's titled, Choosing an Open Table Format for Your Transactional Data Lake on AWS. This is where the writers compare Apache Hoodie to Apache Iceberg to Delta Lake. I work with two of the authors in this field in a daily basis on numerous projects. They're absolutely exceptional at what they do within the big data space. I won't be doing everything that's covered in this blog post in detail. Instead, what I've done is take a summary of what the authors have drew their conclusions and we'll work through four different sections now. I do urge you to read this blog post in full and because of that, I have put a link in the description to it where you can find out more information. So the first thing we're going to look at is general considerations when you're trying to pick an open table format for your transactional data lake. I'll pop a table on screen now that I've used to summarize some of these points. As you can see, both Apache Hoodie and Delta Lake use the Spark data frame. So if you're more familiar with Java, Python, Scala, PySpark, you may want to side with these formats. However, if you look at Apache Iceberg, you can see that the API is actually SQL based. So if you come from this SQL type background, it may be easier for you to implement. The next thing you need to do is consider what format the data is that you're receiving. What type of files are you receiving from upstream? So we look at this table again, you can see that Delta Lake only works with Parquet, whereas the Apache Hoodie and Iceberg cover other formats such as ORC. So if you're actually receiving ORC files and you don't want to go through that ETL process of changing them over to Parquet, then you may be better siding with Apache Hoodie or Apache Iceberg. Lastly, on the table, I have summarized the support that is offered from different AWS services for each of these open source table formats. The key differentiator that I find when talking to customers is actually Apache Iceberg. You can see here that it can do writes and reads through Athena, which means that you can use SQL to carry out ETL. That is a common pattern that I do see amongst customers that side with Apache Iceberg. They want to actually perform SQL ETL for the writes and therefore they choose Apache Iceberg. Next, we'll take a look at streaming. Again, it's a good section to go read in the blog, but I've summarized it into this table, as you can see on screen now. There is a lot on this table, but I have tried to pick the higher points out. In general, all three of these formats support append-only streaming, as you can see from the table on screen. Now, you may say, Johnny, but doesn't Hoodie actually support upserts? And the answer is yes, but it's still append-only streaming. Hoodie under the hood takes in a new row and compares it to its old rows to see if that row already exists. And is this an update to an existing row? If it is an update to an existing row, it quite simply creates a new snapshot that actually has that whole complete row that just came in. And that's why we call it append only streaming. You're actually just appending all the new rows, regardless of their new inserts or the new updates. And then Apache Hoodie under the hood takes actual control and looks after the process of whether that's an update or an insert, but it's by appending the rows onto the existing data. Back on the table, you can also see that the authors note that Apache Hoodie requires a lot of custom config if the defaults aren't acceptable. However, the benefit is that Apache Hoodie does manage your read performance for an end user. Iceberg is a good fit for more micro batch when the operational overhead of a table is acceptable and the same can be said for Delta Lake. Next, let's take a look at CDC. From the table, you can see that it's all very much the same when it comes to CDC. And this isn't a mistake by the authors. They actually come to the conclusion in the white paper or the blog post that all three formats can implement CDC workloads. Apache Hoodie offers the best overall technical fit for CDC workloads, as well as the most options for efficient CDC pipeline design. No code, low code with Delta Streamer, third-party CDC tools, offerings a native Hoodie integration, or a Spark Flink engine using CDC record payloads is offered in Hoodie. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to the Hoodie to manage CDC and refine CDC. But overall, all three formats support CDC in the same manner. There's just more configuration and more options when it comes to Hoodie for that fine tuning. 
And finally, let's take a look at batch workloads. A lot of you will be carrying out batch workloads currently inside whatever data warehouse or data system that you're working on. And it's no different when you move to data lakes, you still get a lot of batch data regardless of the streaming input these days. So again, I'll put it on screen and let's have a look at the table that I've summarized the section out of the blog post. In this section in the blog post, the authors conclude that all formats are well suited to batch loads. They go on to say that Apache Hoodie supports the most configuration options and may increase the effort to get started, but provides lower operational effort due to automatic table management. On the other hand, Iceberg and Delta are simpler to get started with, but require some operational overhead for table maintenance. So as you can see, it's a slight higher barrier to entry with Hoodie, but it gives you more configuration options when it comes to batch loading. But if you want something quick and your data is not that complex, then perhaps Apache Iceberg or Delta Lake is the way to go for you. Okay, folks, that's everything from me today. I've left the link in the description to the full blog post. Please go read it. It is an invaluable resource when it comes to selecting your open source format for your data lake on AWS. There's also a link to my website where I have plenty more articles and information on AWS. I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out creating this content for free. And as always, until next time, thanks for watching.